Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay from WindingRowCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty scarf. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. This is the scarf we're going to be making today. It has a really pretty stitch pattern on the center of the scarf and it is surrounded by a ribbing border. We are going to be using a red heart with love worsted weight yarn. I am going to need at least two skeins of this. This is a size four yarn and can be substituted with any other size four yarn. I'm going to use a size H five millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle and scissors. To get started, you're just going to take your yarn and make a slip knot and insert your hook. We are going to begin by chaining 35. Once you have your 35 chain, we are going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. I am going to work in the back bumps, but if that is difficult for you, work into the chain any way that is comfortable for you. This will be our finished edge, so that is why I like to work into the back bumps because I think it gives me a nicer looking edge. But you're just going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and every chain across for a total of 34 half double crochets. When you reach the end of your row, we are going to chain one and turn. Now we are going to half double crochet in each stitch across, but this time in the back loop only. So you'll yarn over, find your first stitch, insert your hook, down the very center top of the stitch and out the back. That way only the back loop is over your hook. Yarn over and pull up your loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. That is a back loop only half double crochet. Now we're going to repeat this in every stitch across working a total of 34 half double crochets in the back loop only. Once you reach the end of row two, we are going to repeat row two twice more until we have a total of four rows. So to do that, we are going to chain one and turn, and once again, work a back loop only half double crochet in each stitch across. Do this for your third row and do this for your fourth row. So here I have made it to the end of my fourth row and that is going to be the bottom border of our scarf. Now we are going to create the side border and that pretty center stitch pattern. To do this we're going to chain one, we're going to back loop half double crochet in the first five stitches. The first five stitches and the last five stitches will be our side border. It's four and five. Now we're going to begin our V stitch pattern. I'm going to skip the next stitch and in the following stitch I'm going to half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet into the same stitch. That is our first V stitch. Now we are going to skip two stitches and repeat. In the third stitch we're going to half double crochet, chain one, and place another half double crochet in the same stitch. Now you will skip two more stitches and repeat your V stitch until you have a total of eight V stitches. Once you've created eight V stitches, you should have six stitches left unworked. We are going to skip the next stitch and work a back loop only half double crochet in the last five stitches. Once you've worked your last five stitches, now we are ready and set up to do our repeat row. So for row six, 
This is going to be your row you repeat until you have 162 rows. We're going to chain one and back loop only, half double crochet into the first five stitches. Four and five. Now we are going to work V stitches. We're going to place a V stitch into the chain one space in the middle of every V stitch. So we're going to half double crochet into that chain one space. We're going to chain one again and half double crochet into the same chain one space. Now we're going to skip ahead until we can find the next chain one space in the center of the V stitch and work another V stitch. So again, it is a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch in order to create a V stitch. Continue repeating this until you have a total of eight V stitches, all worked into the V stitches of the previous row. Once you have your eight V stitches worked, you're going to skip the next stitch and back loop only, half double crochet in the last five stitches. So just these five here. So once again, going into the last five stitches, we're doing a back loop only, half double crochet, which will keep that ribbed border along the edge of our scarf. Now for rows seven through 162 or longer, if you would like, we are just going to continue repeating row six. Repeat it until the scarf is about an inch or two shorter than you would like it to be when it's done. Here I have worked 162 rows of my scarf. You can see I have quite a bit of yarn left, so if you wanna make it longer, go ahead and do so. But now I'm going to show you the last four rows to finish up your scarf. So from where we left off, we are going to chain one and we are going to back loop only, half double crochet in the first five stitches. We wanna make sure we keep that side border consistent. Now we are going to work three half double crochets into each V stitch. You're going to work it into the first half double crochet, into the chain one space, and then into the next half double crochet. Basically, we are going to work a half double crochet into every stitch and chain one space until you reach the last five stitches of this row. This is just smoothing out our edge so we can make the final border. Once you reach your last five stitches of the row, now we are going to work half double crochets, but in the back loop only, just in the last five stitches. There you go, now we have evened out the edge of our scarf. For our last three rows, we are going to just be repeating this last row. All you're going to do is chain one and turn and half double crochet in the back loop only of every stitch across. You'll notice this is exactly like row two at the beginning of our scarf. So we're just going to be repeating this last row two, a total of three times to create that ribbed edging at the end of our scarf. When you reach the end of this row, as I said, we are going to chain one and turn and repeat this row two more times. So again, back loop only, half double crochet in every stitch across. Repeat it for your row three and your last row four.
Here I've completed my last four rows, creating that nice ribbed edging. I'm just going to fasten off my yarn. And at this point, because I used two skeins of yarn, I only have four yarn ends to weave in. I'm just going to thread my yarn in on a needle and then just push it under a few stitches. It's ideal to go back and forth at least three times so that your item can be washed in the washing machine and you don't have to worry about it becoming unraveled. And there you have it, your scarf is all finished. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Make sure to check out my other easy crochet tutorials. And as always, thank you so much for watching.